Okay, so I feel like the toy section adds to the feeling of overwhelm for some people at thrift stores because like all the aisles, instead of being lined with shoes like some stores put up there, they're lined with toys and even potties. You never know what you're gonna find at a thrift store. But some of the things I look for are um, educational toys and then I look for, if it's a plastic toy, something that is all one piece that can be cleaned, something that doesn't have crevices where things could have gotten stuck or gunky, something like, okay, see this. It has too many buttons for my liking. It looks like a ball should go in there and there are no balls with it. And it's dirty and gunky on one side, so that's not something that we do but look at this this is educational here is a microscope and that's pretty cool it's toys r us brand that's something i like if i can see the brand so i can search and see like maybe repairs or what type of batteries it needs or like how to take it apart or something so that i can identify it it has more identification information right there yeah, that's pretty stinking cool. I'm trying to see a price on it. And I do not see one at this time. Oh, $3.99 for a microscope. Now there's no guarantee that it will work. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, so upon per a further inspection, when the light comes on, it works. So then I think about, okay, so this is a microscope. It'll need um, the little plates. I do not remember the scientific terms, but the little plates that go onto it with the microscopic items. Um, and I do not have those, so I'll get on Google and search to see if I could find them. And here is one more towards Grayson's age range. It's pretty big, so you can look at bigger things under it. And it has the um, brand name on it. So this one I will Google to see if there's something else that goes with it because it seems like something is missing from it. But it looks easy to clean. I'm going to try to switch it on, see if it works. Oh, look, no, this one comes. This one comes with the little slides. I'm not sure where they go. I'm going to keep looking. And then I'll Google it to see how this works. Okay, you can turn it down. Oh, you put the slides in here. Whoop. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Looks like something is missing up here. I'll Google it and share a picture of the official image. All right, a perfect tip that I just had to remind myself of is to play with the toy. And after playing with this, I found out that it is a projector. So it projects the images on this little card down from here. There's a light up there. It projects it so that it can be drawn so it is not a magnifying glass so these are two separate things play with the toys and you learn what they are okay so i typically avoid plush toys at the thrift store because they've been loved on and i just i don't know you never know what's lurking in the synthetic hairs or in the stuffing like if they came from a home with animals or smoking you never know what stays with them but something like this i might reconsider because it's still in the packaging like they never took it out it, the box is just ripped open no idea what it is it's cute but like if that's something i thought my kid would want i would get that one but most of the time i don't get stuffed animals no matter how cute they are i don't even pick them up and let my son play with them because they're definitely not you know you don't know if they're clean just sitting here in the store You'd have to take them home and doctor on them and get them cleaned up. Okay, so Grayson received a kitchen for Christmas and I recognize that this is part of a mixer. I Googled it and it was a set. It came with the like mixer thing that you plug in there and a bowl and then fake milk, eggs and things. And it's $2.99, originally worth $51 with all of the pieces. 
So looking at the set online, I can walk around and see if I can find the pieces that go with it. Sometimes smaller pieces end up grouped up together in bags, like grab bags that you can buy for a couple of dollars, and I might be able to find them that way. Or I may be able to find like a bowl in the kitchen section and just make up my own little mixer thing to, oh, I got my fingers stuck in the hole, y'all, <laughs> to plug into the hole. Yeah, so we'll see. I'll see if I can make something work for this. This is a pretty amazing Lego find. It's all the small pieces, and then it has the table on the other side. I think this is the drawer that goes in here. I'm looking for a part. Oh, it has handles to it. Ooh, let's see if I can find the price. $16, I think. Yeah. It's better than like buying it all new. That's probably a steal, seeing that it's Lego. Okay, seriously though, y'all, I just came from um, a teacher's store down the street from my sister's house, which is like one minute away from here because I'm uh, visiting family. And this was there, and I was just checking out games because I want Grayson to have board games. This and some other games are there um, in this Peaceable Kingdom. They have a lot of eco-friendly games, too. I don't know if this is one of them. But anyway, just came from there. You know, easily a $16 game for $3. I checked inside. All the pieces are there. Or at least enough of them to get what you need. Like, it looks nice still. The instructions are a little ratty, but hey. It looks like somebody's child chewed on this. But that's cool. <laughs> This is really exciting. Like, I literally just looked at this. I also looked at some more of this brand at Target the other day. But here I am at the thrift store. And it's virtually brand new. All the pieces. And... Oops. I forgot to forget a piece. And I found it for my baby. This is why I love thrifting. Literally just looked at this game. I didn't see this one at Target, so it was, like, interesting to see there. I read the back of the box. $16, 17 18 19 something like that. And here it is, $3. I'm very excited about this find. Okay, y'all, so I've been in here for a couple of hours, not gonna lie. Just, just browsing because I was really trying to see if I could find everything that goes with this. And I found this in the dish section like I thought I would. So it's priced that way, but it's 95 cents. So that's not much. Did not find the little pieces that go with it. But I think that's, he, he can use his imagina imagination with this. But I knew I'd find it. I knew it would be separated. I didn't know that I'd find it, but I knew that it would be separated and this would be assumed to be something that is in the food um, storage section or like um, decoration decor.